What's going on guys? Got something a little bit different today. So I just recently sold this shirt right here. It's a country music group called The Judds, which is a Naomi and Winona Judd. This t-shirt is brand new old stock, straight from 1990. And on the back, it's commemorating one of their songs, Love Can Build a Bridge. has a nice crispy print on the front. And the reason why this sale is a little bit special is because somebody else in the country music industry just bought this shirt. Well, I live in Nashville, Tennessee, so this is gonna be a real Nashville native thing going on right now. And I'm not too far from country music people, but I didn't realize how close I am to some of these people. Just now we sold it to Colden Rainey. I had to look up who Cold and Rainy is because I saw they're really close to my address. And right down here we have Cole Swindle. And apparently Cole Swindle wrote for Craig Campbell, Thomas Rhett, Scotty McCreary, and Luke Bryan. And those are pretty big names right there. So I'm going to go over there and see if I can talk to him. See if he is at the door whenever I knock. I'm going to try to hand deliver this t-shirt to him. Okay, we're here. We just made it over here. Let's see if we can get inside. It looks like it's a gated, gated area. Got the shirt right here. All right, we made it past the gate. Try and call again. It's not gonna work, I don't think. Well, I guess I don't know exactly where to go. Looks really nice. Well, I'm here. I'm right in front of the darn address that I'm supposed to be at, but I can't get in there. As for Swindle, and that's who I'm going to, but unfortunately, they just won't answer or they're not here. So, I don't know. Oh, shoot. Dang. Well, that's fancy. I don't know that. So. So despite being let into the apartment complex electronically, it seems like Cole Swindle is not at his apartment right now. So I decided to check Twitter to see if he's anywhere else in the United States. Turns out he's on tour himself in the middle of Pendleton, Oregon. Well guys, it turns out he's on tour in Portland, Oregon or something like that. So I guess this shirt is gonna go through the due process of the United States Postal Service because I could not get into uh, I don't know if it's a studio or a room or something. But... Oh well, bummer. I tried. I tried my hardest. Well, unfortunately, we didn't get in. It was a good experience just to try and see if I could actually hand deliver it to a person that's in the country music industry. But I guess I couldn't. Unfortunate, but it's the way it goes. That was an experience that wasn't exactly what I thought was gonna happen, but it's all right. A little bit different experience than I thought was gonna happen. For some reason, I thought that a person that's involved with country music is gonna be in Nashville, but of course they're on tour. So a little bit of a screw up on my part, but it's okay. I still got the shirt. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pack it up and then ship it the proper way through the United States Postal Service just so the tracking goes through and I don't get scammed or anything. I don't think a country music star is gonna really trip on a $70 t-shirt, 
but I feel like if it goes through the actual process of the United States Postal Service, it'll just be cemented on my end. So unfortunately, I got all the way up to his front door, but couldn't get in, couldn't hand deliver it to him because he's in Oregon, <laughs> but it's all right. I, uh, I had fun doing this. I, I'm literally like five minutes away from him. So there wasn't any, it wasn't really taxing on my end. I was really surprised I got all the way in. So that one gate, the, the gate that rolls out to, in, to enter, that I didn't have a passcode to get in and I had no way of getting in. I had to like type in like a reason to get in and I didn't have a good enough reason to get in. I was like saying, I wanna hand deliver this t-shirt. One of the cars was coming out and the, the sliding door opened up. So I just walked past the sliding open door and then as you guys saw, I was typing in my number or I was typing in my reason to go up to his apartment area and and I was typing in, hey, I wanna say, hand deliver this um, eBay purchase to you. And I don't know what happened, but as soon as I typed that in and then called him again on the little device, then it let me in. It let me in like no issues. It, it was an electronic lock and it just unlocked and let me in. So I walked in, duh. So I went all the way there. I had to find a map to go find out where his apartment is in the building and walked right up to his doorstep, knocked on it a few times. And I was like, let's go check social media. And sure enough, the first thing that's on social media is like one day ago, he's in Portland, Oregon. So unless he has the super fast flight back to Nashville, there's no way he's here. So. My conclusion is he's just on tour and I missed him at the wrong time. So it's unfortunate, but I'm not too worried about it. I really like the experience. I really hope you guys enjoyed your little trip that you had along with me. It wasn't too far, but it was really, really fun experience for me. It's super hot in my car. Let me get this AC running and I will see you guys in the next video, guys. Peace.